Victorian Janus crouched in the shadow of the dead god and watched the demons. The whipping winds of the rot storm pulled at their armour and tunics, and the mists burned at their eyes and soaked at the scarves around their mouths. Above, the bones of the god wolf Lothal loomed, black ribs thicker than tree trunks curving out of the ground, a skull the size of a barn half buried in the peat. I didn't think it was real, Janus said, his voice struggling against the wind. Not truly. Flory pushed his shoulder and raised a hand to her mouth, hidden as it was by her scarf. He nodded and fell silent, and they continued to watch the demons. There were three of them, lanky men or women whose legs and arms had too many joints, taller than the tallest human by a head at least, robed in black and hooded against the burning winds. High above them the rot storm surged, clouds of jet black infused with streaks of gleaming purple lightning that cast a pulsing glow over the rolling landscape. It was enough light that Flory could see her prey, silhouetted against the night beyond. Crow men. Once human, corrupted by the deep rot storm to monsters with arcane power and horrifying appetites. Aberrations in the sky. The three hooded demons were floating four foot from the ground, circling around a chunk of amethyst crystal, hovering between them that gleamed with black and violet light. On the ground past them, perhaps a dozen squat goblins with rough grey skin and black orb eyes. They were arguing in a guttural tongue, fighting over scraps of what might have been meat, with stone knives and wooden spears in their hands, chittering and growling in turn. Past the demons and the goblins, a rot troll, twice the size of a bullock. It snored as it slept, half submerged in a deeper stream of rust-red water, grey pebbled skin cast over an immensity of muscle and bone. Past that again, a single human sentry, with a guttering torch, her body bundled against the acid mist as she gazed into the night. Behind the sentry there were maybe twenty or so more rust folk, hunkered into crude animal skin tents. Flory took all of us in and breathed out through her nose, rolled her shoulders. Twenty rust folk, a dozen goblins, a rot troll, three crow men. All she could rely on was the mage, that he was truly as powerful as he believed. She pointed at Janos and then the rot troll and the rust folk beyond, and then pointed at herself and the crow men hovering around the amethyst and the goblins. He took one gauntlet's hand and grabbed her by the shoulder and leaned in close to her ear. Keep the crow men away from me and the rest I can handle. If we die, he said, his breath hot against her skin even through his mask, I owe you a drink. Flory turned her gaze to his and looked long into his eyes, dark in the strange light of the rot storm, and overhead thunder rolled and then rain began in earnest. She turned back to Janus and licked her lips. The rain tasted like copper. How about we kill everyone? she said, feeling her mouth twitching in the shadow of a smile, feeling the thrill of it all in every nerve, her heart a war drum in her chest. And then we do some jokes. <laughs>